All right, welcome back, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today, we are tackling your questions, okay, your problems. I asked you guys on Twitter, ask me a question or problem, and I shall solve it in a video. And lo and behold, here I am. How to deal with idiots. Ah, the classic problem a lot of people have. Okay, everybody eventually has to deal with some sort of an idiot. I mean, my solution is ma start up a YouTube channel, make videos on them, and absolutely destroy them, okay, in a video. But um, if you, if you just have to like I don't know entertain them either like there, there's a couple things you gotta assess like you know um risk and reward not risk and reward um pros and cons like if you explain something to them I is it worth it you know or are they gonna listen or are they just gonna ignore you something like that so don't waste your energy on them but if they can change then sure otherwise just leave let it be and move on why are humans so idiotic and why is twitter a bad platform okay humans are idiotic because we are literally humans and we we suck at everything why is twitter a bad platform um probably because it rewards like terrible behavior pewdiepie is a very good video on it i always point to that video as to why twitter sucks but pretty much, um, I guess it's just an echo chamber of idiots, right? They've got, like, one opinion, and if you don't agree, you're just kind of, like, cancelled or, like, an outcast. Which is which is very ironic, because, you know, they kind of go for the accepting route. So, it, it's also very easy for something outrageous to just go viral. Like, I can start up an alt account and just make the, the most horrendous things go viral, just because so many people agree with outrageous opinions there. I feel like there's a lot of people with too much free time, and they just want to get involved in something and, you know, kind of like virtue signal kind of thing like hey i'm doing something good for the world where in reality you're really not doing anything okay so i have midterms starting from january the 15th and finals in either march or may 2021 and i haven't studied anything properly at all i know nothing in accounts and economics and business don't even ask about it i'm so stressed and terrified i don't want to fail okay so if you haven't studied all term and you you got a crunch for the exam it's just damage control right immediately what you got to do is see how many days you got left for each exam and then you got to plan out what you do on each of these days plan out every single hour of every day okay because at, at this point you, you need to buckle down you should pretty much know what to do at all times because that way you don't waste any time and spend more time studying uh, allocate more time to that because after the exam you can chill okay also i know i'm gonna get this comment oh you're a failure shut up you can't give anyone advice listen i was also a psychopathic straight a student at one point okay I chose to fail, okay? Shut up. And also try not to worry too much because no matter what happens, no matter what grade you get, you're gonna be fine, okay? You gotta know that. You're, n you're not gonna die. Do your best. That's all that matters. I mean, look at me. Failure. Now I make YouTube videos, okay? How to go to school without having a breakdown. I mean, it would help if you told me the cause of your breakdown specifically, but if this is school in general, I mean, I can kind of relate because uh, I used to have breakdowns like that in school and college all the time, but um, you, you just gotta you just gotta understand that every single person around you is going through the same thing. I mean, you gotta understand your number one enemy is probably your own head because it, it kind of like messes with you and then you don't realize that, hey, all I have to do is just kind of sit here and you don't you don't need to constantly be working your brain, you know, just do it when you need to, okay? You, you just need to calm yourself down and you'll be fine. Why am I always depressed, just never happy most of the time, just numb? I mean, I, I feel the exact same way, honestly. I mean, in the videos, you, you see me much more happier or whatever kind of thing, but, you know, I, the, 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 I have the entire day. This is just 10 minutes of my day, essentially. I don't know, man. I feel like we think about things way too much while other people just kind of, you know, just go through life. So the more you think, the more depressed you'll be. That's kind of what I've concluded. But um, I don't know, man. Try, try, try to distract yourself with, like, games, you know, videos, stuff like that. And one more thing, just know that being happy isn't, like, great, you know? Being happy is just, like, you don't even realize when you're happy uh, most of the time at least and you won't be happy for long anyway and eventually you're gonna come back to the same state so you know it, it's not as good as it's hyped up to be rate my dog out of 10 all dogs 10 out of 10 baby i've been stuck at 2,000 subs for half a year how do i solve that Ooh, this one's hard you could have told me you're like genre or something um, well, I was stuck at 100 subs for 8 months, so, you know, there's that. Try to, you know, at least at the start, rather than, you know, most people are like, do what you love and, you know, it'll come, but I, I, I go the opposite, okay? Do what you love, but, you know, at the start, you need some viewers, right? So you gotta, you gotta make some stuff that's trending, right? And try to morph it into the stuff you love, you know, have elements of both. Like, it, it's a 
compromise, right? Because if you're, if you're making uh, videos about like, I don't know, walking down the street, nobody wants to see that, right? <laughs> or maybe you can make it in a way that they want to see it, but it needs to hit the YouTube algorithm, right? So try to try to find a way to do that. How do you grow on YouTube? Trending topics, algorithm, that's pretty much all there is to it. Just, I mean, it, it's just being consistent. Like the second you quit, you've just lost the game, right? So essentially never quit because I mean, it'll, it'll just take an insanely long amount of time to blow up and most people are just like okay i'm not waiting for it and then they miss their shot but if you keep going for years and years and years eventually you'll just blow up how do you make people understand a joke which they find offensive given that the person has a very very small amount of humor this sounds like twitter in a nutshell dude um i mean if they find it offensive and they're super hyper reactive i mean i i pity some of you guys who are growing up in this generation around these absolute pansies dude i don't know man um find someone who relates to your humor it, it might take a really really long time to find but you know you, you don't want to be friends with some bozo right how to communicate and keep conversation with another human being other than your close relatives okay so there's like a couple ways to go about this i mean essentially you got to talk about something interesting right maybe focus on their interests instead of yours give them a reason to participate in the conversation maybe maybe tell tell them a joke lift up their day so that the next time they're like hey i enjoy talking to this guy so i'm gonna continue talking to them why do teenagers have a rebellious stage i mean i'm a teenager and i never had that I mean, that this is this that's just anecdotal, right? You're one person. There's there's a vast community of people in the teenager sphere, right? A lot of people are going through like hormonal changes and stuff, and you know it might cause them to act out. And sometimes when you become a teen is when you start to understand the world around you, and you're like, ah, oh, this is BS. I'm not gonna listen to them. I can do things better on my own. Okay, we got the golden question. What is better, friends or clout? Okay, let me take a second and break it down for you, right? If it's just clout that's essentially useless but if it's money along with clout, then you're talking, right? Because money is actually valuable. Friends, um, depends on how good friends they are, right? Usually, I I'd say between friends and clout, uh, I'd, I'd obviously say friends. But if you're getting a money along with that clout and like a full-on career and it's changing your life, you know, sucking you out of college and putting you into a full-time dream job streamer or something, go get the clout, dude. You'll find new friends anyways. I know it's kind of not the normal normal answer but you know I i'm just i'm just telling you what's best for you how do you make friends irl without trying to fake interest with them i've been doing this for so long it's become a hobby i mean first you're kind of tricking them right you shouldn't be doing that because they they've essentially got like the substitute of what they think they're talking to right so don't do that May maybe look for people with similar interests but you gotta understand that you know that might be very rare because i literally found no one and i had to go to youtube to find people with similar interests but I think a lot of people have this misconception that you need to have similar interests to be friends, which, you know, in most cases, yeah. But in a lot of cases, your best friend could be somebody with like zero interests is similar to you, even uh, even your like loving partner. It's kind of funny how it works, but yeah, my advice is just don't fake interests anymore and you'll probably make better friends. All right, that was the last question. Hope you guys enjoyed. I really like doing these videos. It, it does help me connect more with you guys and understand you better. And we are building a somewhat decently sized community, which is pretty cool. And everybody is really nice, which I appreciate. So yeah, um, if you want to participate next time, just follow me on Twitter and wait for a tweet. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Smash the like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day ahead. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye.